When I started trance music, I wondered, how do you make this sound? With Serum, this is really easy to do. So let's have a look at that. Hey guys, how are you doing? I'm Reorder, I'm a trance music producer and a DJ and today I'm gonna be showing you how to make that amazing trance soul lead that you can hear in my tracks and also in tracks of other trance producers. And if you guys just wanna download the sound, check the link in the description for my newest producer sample pack. Let's go open up Ableton and let's do it. So let's load up Serum, so we can make a soul lead, so we're gonna use saw. Let's pick a little bit of a nicer saw here. Let's go for basic and we just want the saw, actually on this one, let's look for the saw, there we go, that's our saw. I like this one much more, let's do this for 16 voices, it's heavy, that's like, woo, very EDM. Alright, we're back, let's work with the blend a little, make it like more even on this one. And of course, we want to add one more, same one, 16 voices, so it's the same thing with the blend, and let's make this a little bit more detuned, so we get like a super, super saw. Nice, super crazy wide. Let's assign a filter here on A and B, 24 dB, it's like my favorite for trance, and let's put it to envelope 2 over here. And we can actually go about here. And let's put it down. Make it a little bit higher, maybe. Let's see. And that's some release. Okay, that's pretty cool. So now when I'll be opening the filter, it's gonna go up. So now we have the nice plucky sound. Warm SF. Okay, let's do something with the envelope here. Because we are doing a trans lead, so go for like a 200 here. I'm gonna have a short and minus 10 about, yeah, and some release. Because when you open it, so it sounds like a lead. Let's increase that release a little bit more. So let's add a little bit of movement to this sound so it feels more warm and uh, more analog. First thing we're gonna do is assign the LFO to the face. So on this one I would go like all the way and let's do this over a bar. So the face is just moving left and right all the time. Play it. You can hear how it's changing the pitch. Now on LFO 2 let's do this one on the face. Let's do two bars. It doesn't have to go like all the way. So let's do it like this. Let's play something. Our sound is starting to take shape. Let's look at some effects that we can use to make it sound nicer. So we go to the FX section. So maybe let's add some chores here. There we go. Just as it is, just, you know, turn the mix down a little bit more. Let's add the delay. I like to use 1, 4 and 1, 8 dot. So let's try that one first to see how it's gonna sound. Okay, I'm gonna keep that just on the high frequencies and maybe ping pong. I like to leave it in a normal. Let's do this like a little bit short. Okay, let's add some EQ. Let's play around with this. I'll maybe raise the high frequencies a little bit higher somewhere, just high frequencies, like 7000 up. Make this a little bit more narrow, like that. About 38% will do. And like this. And a little bit more high mid. So about 700. Let's go for 30% here. And a little bit of gain. Oh, I wanted to do the bell, of course. So I'm not adding noise to the track, I'm just using the equalizer to add the noise so it feels a little bit more full. That sounds about right, let's tune it down a little. And now, the most important thing, let's add a reverb on top of that. A little bit more size here. You want it longer? Some low cut. Of course, some high cut. Need to do anything with the spin and depth, just keep it, leave it, and increase the mix. So, so it's nicely hidden in the reverb. Okay, let's try to play something here. Can play with a cut over here first. The 
to something simple. Now, let's see how it's gonna sound. We just put it inside the track. I have a, like, a simple MIDI here, and let's have a listen. If you guys want to download this sound, just follow the link in the description for my first ever Pro Uses sample pack for Zero. And if you like this video, guys, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell button so you don't miss any future uploads. Thanks again, and I'll see you soon.